a very good morning to all of you welcome to anb exam forum student i have received a lot of comments on this csir case exam student were complaining that this exam analysis would be unfair for those candidates who have already given the exam in the past and it will be beneficial for those candidate who are going to write their exam in the upcoming days okay and uh, i have given reply several times that there would be normalization uh, after the exam is over and on the same line uh, csir has released the normalization method notice and in this session we are going to see what exactly is normalization method and what exactly is in that notice issued by the csir okay so without wasting any time let's see the notification so student uh, this is a notice issued by the csir it is dated 13 feb that is yesterday and the notice subject is normalization method formula to be used for normalizing the score in multi session examination okay so whenever there is multi session exam maximum uh, there will be definitely one normalization process okay different organization use different normalization method so for csir they have given their own method that we are going to see in this video but the terminologies and the other factors remain the same okay so let's see uh, what they have given so first thing you should know what is percentile score score okay basically this is a score uh, which indicate the relative performance of the candidate who have appeared in the given shift okay and remember student as they have also written it is not same as the percentage of marks okay the other marks they are referring as a raw score whatever the score you have obtained in the written test that is called raw score okay percentile score is the score uh, which is basically telling the performance of you and relative to the other candidates means how far better you have done uh, with respect to the other candidates so if you see the formula uh, i will go down so if you see the formula the number of candidates appear in the shift with raw score equal or less than the candidate over total number of candidate who have appeared in the shift in 200 okay so obviously if uh, total number of candidate uh is equal to the number of candidates who have scored equal or less then that person will be the topper because nobody is above that okay so the highest topper will have will always have 100 percentile score okay so this is the percentile score first you should know and uh, the important point i have already highlighted in this document so shortlisting of the candidate uh will not be on done on the percentile score it will be done on the normalized marks okay and uh, how uh, will this normalized marks will be obtained it will be definitely obtained from this percentile score okay and uh, for conversion from percentile score to normalized score equi percentile method is used okay what exactly is equi percent uh sent method you can have a look on the internet it is very simple one just you need to find the highest mean among all the shift all the shift all the days find the highest mean that is called selection of the base shift once you know the highest mean uh you can use the formula directly so, okay so the formula is n equal to uh n is what normalized score x2 x2 is the immediate higher percentile in the base shift okay so base is the what highest mean okay immediate lower means uh lower percentile score in the base shift okay then y2 is the marks corresponding to x2 percentile in the base shift whereas y1 is the marks okay so y2 y1 are the marks in the base shift whereas uh, x1 and x2 are the higher and lower percentile in the base shift okay so if we go to the next uh, thing that if it is less than the base shift percentile then it will be differ for different one okay so for that uh, it is just a interpolation method if you see it is y1 the original marks plus 
whatever you have interpolated this is nothing but interpolation similarly if you have scored less than the base shift then y1 minus the interpolated marks this is just the interpolation then the final thing that you need to see this marks uh, would be finally merged to call for the final normalized score okay and this final normalized score will be done after the calculation of this normalized marks okay and if two or more candidates having the same normalized marks that is very difficult but still if it happens uh, both the candidates will be called for the tier 2 exam okay so if you can go through this uh, document it is quite simple uh, they have given the method and they are very transparent to it okay so so we have seen the normalization method uh, we have other video as well like job profile selection process and if you have time you can watch those video and get benefited from that thank you for watching and if you have anything to say you can write in the comment box we'll be very happy to answer those questions thank you